November is absolutely for the lesbians because some of the best lesbian and women loving women shows are back in November. I mean, November 18th should basically be a national holiday for women loving women. So let's get into all the amazing shows that are coming out this November. It's the kind of sapphic chaos I live for. Starting off with one of my favorite shows from last year is The Sex Life of College Girls. This will be the second season and this show is written by Mindy Kaling. So of course it's brilliantly written. And this show is about four freshman girls who go to a university in the Northeast. And it's all about, surprisingly, their romantic lives. It's my turn to catch up. How many girls are you talking to? Three. Don't listen outside our door, it's creepy. My only room is in there with two other girls. Excuse us for being messy bitches who love drama. And we do have some good representation as one of the main characters is a woman loving women. That is Leeson. And this show is just hilarious. It's really, really well written. And the actors are all great too. I just really enjoyed this show. And I knew it'd be great because it came from Mindy Kaling, but I was really surprised at how much I enjoyed it last season. So if you haven't seen the first season, I strongly suggest that you do. So make sure to catch the the Sex Life of College Girls when it comes out November 17th on HBO Max. Next up is another one of my favorite shows and I've been waiting for this third season for a long, long time. And that is the third season of the Netflix show Dead to Me. This show stars Christina Applegate and Linda Cardellini and it is from showrunner Liz Feldman who is an absolute genius and also hilarious. You can actually hear Liz is being interviewed on Kate and Leisha's podcast Pants if you want to know a bit more about her but the filming for this originally got pushed back because of what everything else got pushed back for and then it got pushed back because of Christina Applegate having some health issues they had to pause filming so it is finally here and in the second season they introduced Natalie Morales who I'm a huge fan of as well the show is just so well written and James Morrison is in it so I highly highly suggest you catch up on the first two seasons if you haven't already can you get the fucking doctor can you please get the fucking doctor? I will do my fucking best. Aww. Thank you. Fucking thank you. And the third and final season will be out on Netflix November 17th. Next up, we have a new show that is called Planet Sex with and this show is going to be airing in the US on Hulu and then a slightly edited version is going to be airing on BBC in the UK. So this show is described as an immersive journey that will follow Kara as she puts her mind and body on the line in hopes of finding answers to various questions and topics surrounding human sexuality. Over the course of this the series, Kara will attempt to get to the bottom of joys, mysteries, and the constantly changing nature of sexuality. So if you want to watch this show for free, if you're in the US or anywhere else in the world, get yourself a VPN, set it to the UK as your country, plug into the BBC iPlayer, and then you'll be able to watch the show for free. And if you need a good VPN, there is a link for ExpressVPN down in the description box. And if you use my link, you'll get a couple of free months. Planet Sex will be out on November 29th on Hulu and BBC. Next up is the sixth season of the Netflix show Elite and the synopsis reads, after Samuel's death, Las Asinas faces a new school year trying to have a facelift by covering up disasters of the past. However, the conflict in its classrooms is systemic. Racism, sexism, domestic abuse and LGBTI phobia are just a few of the difficult issues that will run through through the hallways of the prestigious institution this season. If those who run the system do not actively take action to address these issues, it will have to be the students themselves who do so. The sixth season of Elite will be out on Netflix November 18th. Next up is the one, the only, the L word, Generation Q will be returning for season three. This season is going to be the absolute best yet. Are you in love with me? Is that what you were gonna say? <sighs> that you're in love with me? 
bother me. Just answer the question. I think some of the episodes in this season may even rival the original. There is a lot going on and whether any couples from season two are still together in season three still is left up in the air, but there is a lot going on, including what could possibly be the reunion of Bet and Tina that everyone has been waiting for. <sighs> Is this the end of Danny and Gigi? We should just move in together. I mean, talk to now. What's happening with Shane and Tess, Finley and Sophie, Alice and Tom, and everyone else? This season is honestly going to be explosive. As you guys know, I got to go to the set of The L Word Generation Q this season when they were filming the last two episodes. <laughs> like, okay. beyond. No, I mean, I really, I really do think everyone's going to lose their minds. Like, mm -hmm. literally, like, it's insane and there is so much good stuff coming. If you wanna know more about season three, make sure to check out the, I don't know, 10 million videos that I have on my channel. There's a lot of really big information in those, so check them out. I'll link them in the cards above and down below. And of course, the L Word Generation Q will be back for season three on Showtime on November 18th. One other final thing I wanted to recommend is an LGBTQ movie that is in the mainstream or has an LGBTQ aspect. Here with my children and all their friends. You know, he's not my friend. You know I support you. Excuse me, sir. Yes. He's my son. What's happening? And they do sex things. It's A-OK -okay with me and I'm proud. And that is the show, The People We Hate at Weddings. And that will be starring Kristen Bell and Ben Platt. Ben Platt's character is in a same sex relationship and it looks to be a really funny comedy. I absolutely love Kristen Bell. So I always go and see like all of her movies and this one looks to be as great as all the other ones. It is about two siblings who go to their rich half siblings wedding in the UK. And of course, hijinks ensue. You know how at every wedding there are those people everyone talking about after? Cousin Randy. Ew. We're those people this time. Oh, savage mom. So make sure you check that movie out when it comes out on Amazon Prime on November 18th. And as I said, November 18th is really some sort of LGBTQ holiday. So make sure you're prepared for all the amazing content that's coming out over November, primarily November 18th. So make sure that, as I said, you check out my L Word videos if you wanna know more about that. I will be covering the L Word, of course, the sex life of college girls and dead to me. So make sure you're subscribed so that I can let you know when ever I post all the content for that. And as always, make sure to stay safe, take care of yourselves, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.